Pretty big day on this channel, pretty big day for me as a collector because I finally, finally tracked down this autographed baseball that I've been after for about four years now. But before I get to that, I want to kind of talk about this display that you see here in front of you. Um, uh, there's three spots on it, and I'm going to kind of explain why there are exactly three as we go. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started here on the left. So this is a team signed baseball of the uh, 1980 world champion Philadelphia Phillies. Um, goes without saying I'm a Phillies fan, of course, and I'll go ahead and uh, point out a few of the signatures that uh, stand out. So right there in the sweet spot is Dallas Green, the manager, and that's pretty common among team signed baseballs to have the manager sign on the sweet spot. Um, so let's see, you can see Steve Carlton, lefty, right there. Uh, what else we got here? There's Larry Boa, that's a big name in uh, Philly's franchise history. Mike Schmidt, of course. Uh, he also inscribed the 1980 uh, World Series MVP. Uh, Bob Boone, the Bull, Greg Luzinski. And uh, gotta mention Charlie Hustle here, Pete Rose, and he uh, he also put 80 World Series champs. So uh, 1980, I wasn't even born in 1980. I was born in 1981, of course. Uh, I always like to joke about the fact that the Phillies won the World Series and then I was born and was not gonna get to experience a World Series as a fan. I've been a Phillies fan my whole life um, and I certainly grew up hearing about the 1980 team. And, you know, as a Phillies fan in the 80s and 90s, growing up, I didn't really know what the World Series was. I mean, I knew what it was as a concept, but I didn't know what October baseball was like because the Phillies were elsewhere in October. They certainly weren't in the postseason in those years. And uh, probably because of that, the 1980 World Series team grew for me in mythic, you know, in mythic qualities. Um, especially because in those days, you know, there was no internet, so I couldn't watch clips, I couldn't watch games. Um, it was hard to really truly experience what that was like the way we can now. So it always kind of stuck out to me and I knew I wanted to get, you know, that, that team signed ball. And, you know, that one in particular is, is really new. It's, it's a, you know, it's something where the guys get together, they have a reunion, everybody signs the baseball. Um, that, that accounts for it being in such good condition. Um, but I knew I wanted to get one and that kind of got me started thinking I want to get other um, key years from the Phillies championship. Um, the next biggest year for me, of course, is 1993. Um, and so this is the 1993 um, team signed baseball for the Phillies. Now, um, obviously, the Phillies did not win the World Series in 93, um, and that's a painful thing for, for any Phillies fan to have to talk about. Um, Jim Fergosi here on the, on the sweet spot, the manager. Um, you know, but um, this particular team was so much fun to watch. You can see there's uh, 
Lenny Dykstra. And this is actually a ball that was made for the 93 World Series. So this is from that particular era. Um, David West. Uh, let's see who else is on here. Um, this team, you know, everybody knows this team because uh, there's Schilling. Uh, they were known, there's the Crocker. They were known for being you know, kind of sloppy looking and the, the mullets and all that stuff. And, you know, people love to make fun of them and whatever. The reality of that team is that team was a freaking amazing team. That team was hands down the best team I've ever watched in all the time that I've watched baseball. They were so much fun to watch. They were a scrappy team. They played baseball the right way. They got on base. They played small ball. They stole bases. They moved runners. Everybody in the lineup knew what their role it was. They knew what their strengths were. They played to their strengths. They, they played as a team. And every night, somebody picked up the team and, and did their part. And it was so much fun to watch, especially as a kid. I was, you know, a teenager still playing baseball. It was so inspiring to watch them play and um, just be, you know, influenced by that as a kid especially because there weren't any stars on that team. You know, like people knew some of the players, but there weren't any big time stars. Th these were just like regular guys that other teams had rejected um, or that were considered past their prime that just came together and like did it. And it was so much fun as a Phillies fan to watch because it went so well with the city and the kind of um, vibe that, that just thrives in Philadelphia. So love that team, even though they didn't win the World Series. Um, one of the best teams I ever got to watch. So I had to have that ball. Now, the third spot is obviously for the 2008 World Series champs. Um, another amazing experience much later in my life um, as an adult. Um, now, you would think of all three of these baseballs, this would be the easiest one to find. Well, when I first started collecting baseballs, this is like four or five years ago, um, I, I would see this baseball come up time and again on eBay, but um, either the price wasn't right or I was just not really in the market for it. I was getting something else and I figured, well, I keep seeing it. I'll be able to get one, no problem, whenever I'm ready. Well, I got these two. By the time I was ready to, to pull the trigger on the 2008, for whatever reason, I guess enough time went by, fewer and fewer of them were, were popping up. And the ones that did, either really didn't look so great, the, the ink was smudged or something else was wrong with it, the price was crazy, not something I wanted to pay, or they were missing key players um, that I really wanted to make sure were on the ball. You know, you might have a team signed baseball, but it may not have the key players that you wanna have on that baseball to kind of commemorate that team. So time's gone by and I'm like, wow, I'm just not seeing this baseball. And so, you know, I had this particular stand purchased specifically for these three teams. You know, the, there are other championship um, pennants that the Phillies have, you know, 1950 being a big one, the Wiz Kids. You know, obviously they got it again in 2009. There are other years, and I'm, I may end up going for those, but for me it was like these three years are like the three best years in my fandom um, following the Phillies. And so I wanted to have these three spots. All this time, this particular third spot has been sitting empty until today. So here it is, the 2008 World Series champion Philadelphia Phillies autographed baseball with Chuck, Charlie Manuel, right there in the center. And, you know, if there's one knock against this baseball, it's that Charlie decided to sign this with a black pen. Um, but uh, I can live with it because everybody else that I would want to have on this baseball is on this baseball. Uh, we got Cole Hamels. Uh, let's see, who else do we have here? Uh, Shane Victorino. Got some, a lot of coaches, Jason Worth. There's Chase Utley, uh, Brad Lidge, of course, uh, Ryan Howard. Here's Jimmy Rollins. 
So, you know, all the guys that were such a, uh, such a huge part of that team are represented on this baseball. And it's also, um, this is kind of the uh, cherry on top, is that it is actually a World Series 2008 baseball. Um, man, it's so, it's so freaking great to finally have this thing. I haven't, <laughs> holding this here now, I just, it's been a busy day. I've not really had a chance to like let this sink in. I'm so, so glad to have finally gotten this thing. And maybe best of all, I got it for a really reasonable price. As far as I'm concerned, I got it for a steal. Considering how um, expensive these things can go, I got this for next to nothing um, for whatever reason I wanted at auction. And man, there it is. It's so crazy to finally see that uh, spot taken by that baseball. I've been waiting so long to, uh, to have that in that spot. And it's really cool to be able to share this with you guys. I mean, you know, we, we all can, can just take so long to get our projects completed. And this is a project that's been, I guess, four or five years in the making. And um, seems kind of silly. It seems like it would have been faster than that, but um, feels really rewarding to finally get to this point. Um, and now the question is how to display it. Um, you know, this, this makes the most sense is like, you know, 80, 93, 2008 um, but I was kind of thinking like maybe I could I could do it this way right with the the sweet spots uh, of each of them of the uh, managers um, but I do kind of like seeing the 2008 emblem and now my symmetry OCD kind of kicks in and I just kind of wonder like well maybe I should go like this maybe the 2008 ball should be in the center and maybe it should be over there like that. Man, I don't know. Um, these are the things that I'm <laughs> wasting my time with right now instead of other stuff that I should be doing. Anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my case right now. So hold on one second. So there it is, guys, finally completed. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Appreciate all the comments and conversations. Take care, everybody. Talk to you all soon.